Okay, part three. Um, you know, this man's got PMS, I don't know, in triplicate. And, uh, you know, I'm the type of person where, you know, I was in a very controlling, very mentally abusive relationship for about four years. I mean, I was in this relationship for a total of six years. But four of those years was when it was starting to get really rough and really hard to get out of. And um, I knew that I had to get myself and the kids out. I just was fucking trapped. Um, but the whole thing of it is, I... Mm, other type of person where if I loan money out to somebody, I don't own them. I loan them that money out of my own free will, and then I pray desperately that I get the money back. Therefore, I don't loan money out anymore. I loaned out a large amount of money several years ago, and uh, I've only got about half of it back, but it was all in taking off the tab. It wasn't actual handing of money like here. Here's part of the payment. It was more like, hey, let's go out to eat, and it could be taken off the tab. Or, hey, I just bought your son a sandwich. Take it off the tab. Or, hey, I just bought you some books at Goodwill. Take it off the tab. Or, hey, I bought you guys a VCR for Christmas. Take $40 off the tab. Yeah. Stupid shit. Whatever. You know, I'm over it. It's done and over with. person I loaned that money to, she's a very manipulative woman, and she knows how to get what she wants. However, she ain't going to get anything from me other than total just contempt. Because she acted like she was such a good person, and now she's just, she's just two-faced, really. You know, and I didn't believe it at first, but, you know, there's just too many signs. But regardless, uh, Boss Man has so much, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's PMS to where he gets cranky every now and then, but I think what it is is he's a control freak. He likes to control everything and everyone around him. And he'll he'll use whatever necessary in order to ensnare and trap and control and continue to, to trap and control whoever whoever is, you know, the the stooge of the day, the idiot or the you know, the dumbass, the asshat, whatever. Unfortunately, my husband and I got roped into this. My husband's been working for this man for about five years. Okay. Well, I'm the type of person where I can't stand anybody controlling anyone. Okay. Now, parents controlling their children, there, there's a gray zone with that because they're your children. You have the right to parent them however you see fit. But there's that fine line between discipline and abuse and it does tend to blur around the edges, especially if you get frustrated with your children. Believe me, I'm guilty of, of, you know, lashing out and then later going, oh my god, why did I do that? You know, and it's hard, it's really rough, and I'm ashamed of it. Um, it's, it's just stupid, it's pointless to lose your temper around children, but I'm guilty of it, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Because parenting is a very t tough and difficult job, and those that are considering it, you better consider it good and hard. Because it's no walk in the, p in the park. Now, there's some days where, you know, you look at your children, they're, they're well behaved, you know, they're getting good reports from school, they're doing really well, and you can just sit back and go, Life is so wonderful, I love my family. And you can just kind of drown in that, like, that schmoopy feeling, you know, but not every day is like that. And, you know, a lot of people that don't have kids go, oh, you know, you got it all together. You take care of your kids, take care of your house, take care of your husband, you know, you got it going on. It's like, really? <laughs> I get up in the morning, sometimes I'm able to take a shower or I take a bath, and then I crawl onto the couch and sleep because I only have a couple of nights, of, uh, a couple of hours of sleep the night before. Last night was just that. Katie passed out early, so I was like, oh, thank you God, thank you God, thank you God, thank you God. 
But then she woke up again saying that she had a bad dream and she wanted me to sleep on the couch with her. Now the only problem is, is that whenever she cuddles with somebody, she kicks and she fights in her sleep. Something that she started doing when she was about three, maybe four years old. I don't know. So I was like, okay, okay, here's the deal. I'll sleep on the other side of the couch. You sleep on this side of the couch. I'm sleeping on the couch with you. It's just that way you don't kick me and I don't get mad and shove your little butt off the couch. Because she's starting to kind of get that little feminine cranky crank going on and uh, I love her to death but she's too much like me when it comes to moods and uh, mm, her brother's like that too he, he gets in his little cranky modes and uh, oh man those that have parents those or those that have or those those who are parents of boys you have my utmost respect because boys get cranky and moody too and it's and it's crazy you know they, they they start to go into this whole thing where they want to primp and preen in front of the mirror use deodorant flex their muscles or you know do that whole thing you know and it's funny because you know guys will never admit that but you know when they're little boys I mean you can't help but watch them and laugh and go oh my god you're trying out your man pose <laughs> you know <laughs> it's just adorable but, you know, guys, guys are strange critters. I mean, I grew up as a tomboy, and I thought I understood them, you know, because they were always complaining about girls. But now that I'm all grown up and looking back, I never really understood them at all. I just rolled with it because I agreed with them girls are weird, because the girls that I knew back then were real vain and all... <coughs> And, you know, I'm not that kind of person. I am a female, and I do like to look pretty. I do like to look presentable. I do like wearing makeup. I do like doing my nails. Um, I do like wearing, you know, nice clothes and looking put together. But it's just not comfortable all the time, so I don't do it all the time. I only do it ever so often, and then whenever I do, you know, it nearly knocks, knocks Chuck over, and he's just like, damn. So... I don't know, <laughs> but um, this concludes this episode. This is the Yippie Chick from Hippie Chickapus, State of Insanity, Country of Chaos, which y'all a very wonderful Thursday. Keep on trucking, little America. We're gonna get through this. And also the little little W world for all y'all that are on the other side of the planet. Love you too.